As the sun set, the festival began to be began to be a get a bit more rowdy. A bit because most yokai love the moonlight more than sunlight, and a bit because people were starting to get tipsy, or in Sane's case, totally smashed. The four of us occasionally chatted idly as the light faded and the lantern hung around the shrine to light themselves. I recognized the work as one of my own designs. I felt some pride that all of them worked. Another paycheck to earn. We sat in the orange light, enjoying the view of the blossoms every year. Every year, the blossoms fall, but the trees remain for next year. Hmm, was that what being yokai was like, the trees instead of the blossoms? Perhaps that was what Patchley was hinting at before. Flower review was a great time to think about things and I had a lot of things to think about. So, what did you think of this, my dear Marissa? Despite the danger, I turned towards Nidori's voice. It was always more dangerous not to look. Hey, when your box is exploding, I agree, Marissa. Better watch what that girl is doing, man. Nidori was standing there in a blue yukata, arms open so that I could see the flower patterns clearly, or to maybe em emphasize her cleavage, or both. A yukata, aren't yukatas more for summer festivals? Hey, I, I don't know shit, man. And it's a pretty standard yukata, especially for Kappa. Is it? I I don't know. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, beloved. Behold, this is not just a yukata, it is the ultimate yukata, version 3.4. So, okay, where, where the point four come into play? Don't ask. Damn, Rainbow's on point. I was just asking, she's telling me don't ask. Okay, girl, I won't ask. Ultimate yukata in version 3.4. She asked, <laughs> damn, Marissa, you didn't listen. As you're well aware, altering, al altering textiles to produce technomagical fields is a personal specialty of mine. The ultimate Yukata version 3.4 is the latest model containing all my advancements in the field. In addition to the standard micro missile launchers, stealth field and a bit attack and bit attack control system, it contains a dryness field that keeps the wear comfortable while stand while still allowing the yukata sexiness to be enhanced by liquid absorption. I can get behind the missile launcher, stealth field, and the control system. The other part, or oh, whatever. But the missile launcher, yeah, that'd be fun. And it contains my greatest advancement yet, the pinpoint gravity defiance field. Okay, now I'm interested. Nidori leaned forward while sliding the yukata both off her shoulder. Of course, slid down revealing an ample amount of the kappa's chest therefore stopping just before the top completely fell off. And Alice choked briefly on her drink, and I think I heard Yomu's self-deception about her sexuality shattering somewhere in the background. Baha blasted. By altering the pull of gravity over specific locations, the Yukata can reveal the maximum amount of flesh without the user having to worry about public indecency, which is important because I do not want to have to censor shit in this video. I think I should be good. I think I should be good. Yeah, I've seen I've seen worse I've seen worse thumbnails, man. I remember back when I was trying to find channels. I remember there was this one picture of Letty with like like a big ass chest of Letty Letty with like her shirt almost revealing it for, for like a music. This is for a song, man. This is for a song. I'm trying to think which I, I'm trying to think which channel did that. I think it was like the Niri Kawashiro channel, like the music channel. I think that was like so long ago. It was one of the most viewed videos of time. I wonder why with that picture. I'm, I'm trying to think. I could. Could I find the picture? It'll be hard to find the picture, but I, maybe. Nah, that's way a lot of work. But yeah, I remember like some video of that. All right. This field effects grants the bra uh, rarer a 48% increase in general sexiness, given average busts and legs. I'm no math genius, okay? So I don't even know how she got the 48%, but yeah, we'll work with that. Somehow, I think the spiel might have been more effective if Nidri had been sultry instead of an over-enthusiastic teacher. Still, I had to ask. Doesn't it make it hard to remove? She said it again. <laughs> Damn it. Not at all, but I'm glad you asked. Just follow me over to the woods here and I'll happily give you a hands-on demonstration of the removal process as well as a few other items I brought with me. <laughs> uh, control field, missile launcher. That's what I wanted, man. No, the wait, missile launcher. Yo, shit, we dug in this. Uh, but of course, the Ultima Yukata version 3.4 has a full micro missile battery capable of launching, leveling the shrine four times over. Yo, yo, you want to chill for a bit, man? Ring my beat your ass for mentioning that, man. Awesome. Now, that was a seriously, seriously useful feature. Behold. You are not damaging the shrine, idiots. 
Yipe! The Hakari Ying Yang Orb flew from her sleeves and hit Nidri in the head a moment before turning around homing in on me. Ouch! Hey, are you starting the fighting without me? No fair. Ah, the Oni. Nidri seemed to blur, then faded from view completely. It was a pretty impressive effect. Even with the swirling blossom, I couldn't see where the kappa was. Hopefully that wouldn't be a problem later. Huh, she left. Suika, she was almost devious for an Oni, which meant she was about as subtle as a brick through the wall. She could start a whole lot of fun, but she could also be really annoying. I never did understand why exactly the little Oni attached herself to Reimu though. Ah oh, well, hey Reimu, you four team wanna you four wanna team up with Aya to try to beat me in a drinking contest? I'll drink three times for you lots one. No odds, no odds, but Suika. Or perhaps an eating contest instead, say a fried beans? See, this is why I asked Reimu. The rest of you humans try to cheat all the time. Hey, I never cheat. For some reason, everyone looked at me when I said that. Oh, whoops. Blazing Star. That's not cheating. It's one of my signature moves, so it's okay. It's only against the rules for other people to use moves like that. The others just shrugged. See, it's okay so long as I do it. Anyway, I'll stick with the straightforward one. So we got hugged Reimu tight. Anyway, Rimu, if you aren't going to let me have fun with Demako or Dragon Cons, you have to play something else with me. We can get a drunken Mo Mahjong game going. I'll drink every 100 points. You and I drink every 1,000. Fine, fine. Just stop rubbing up against my chest. Ah, but it's so soft. Let's see. Even with them. Oh, we. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So how, how do I troll? This is like all troll. I mean, all of them have a kind of a troll uh, answer. Let's see. Oh, do we want to blast the Reimu? Are we willing to take the dive? Ooh, ooh, okay. I, I'm going to balls to the wall this, guys. I'm going to blast Reimu right here, right now, okay? Ah, oh, this is straight up mean. <laughs> Even with them being small? Oh, oh, I gotta see this, I gotta see this. It's not like any of yours are bigger. Any of ours? Oh, oh. Oh, that was cold, Reimu. Come on, I promise to get you sloshed out, out of the bad mood in no time. Hey, you, that Tengu, and your green Miko are all going down. Reimu waved goodbye over her shoulder as she headed towards the game. Patchy stood herself. I believe I will retire for the night. Too much pollen is bad for my asthma. It was an enjoyable evening. Good night. See you around, Patchy. Patchy blinked in acknowledgement, summoned the wind, and floated off towards the Skull Devil Mansion, reading, reading once again. Now that the sun had set, it was a good time to roam the grounds again. I'm probably going to wander off to Alice. Alice stretched, then lay down on the blanket, looking up. I'm going to stay here a little longer. Well, I guess I can't complain that she's actually looking at the flowers during a flower view. Okay, see you, Alice. I began wandering the crowd again. The revel revelry had down died down a bit as people had broken off into smaller groups. Sane apparently was a master Mojang player while drunk, as Suga and I were learning to I was learning to their distress. Raimi, of course, was holding her own. Further off to the side, Yuiko was teasing a rather flushed Yomu. Beyond that, Chen and Orin were either fighting or playing. One of the two, it looked like even more lively than last year. Suddenly, someone called out from behind me. 